Hey guys, Min here. So today, I am going to do an upgrade to my standing desk. So if you haven't seen my video on turning this desk into a standing desk, please check it out here. So anyway, I got this pop-up um, charger grommet from a vendor, and this thing is pretty amazing. Check that out. So there's a couple of power, power sockets, uh, three power sockets, and then another power socket on the bottom, and a USB-C and USB-A port here as well. And this wireless charger is 18 watt wireless charger that's Qi supported, and yeah, it's that simple. All right, the only challenge so far I've reached is that this is a 4.7 inch or 120 millimeter hole size versus my old power grommet. It's about three and a one eighth inch hole size. So when I try to put this there, it's definitely much bigger. I need a bigger hole. So I am going to add a new uh, hole maker, hole drill. So I'm gonna go and drill out that hole. So let's get started. First, I need to remove the old uh, power grommet, which is stuck in there. So I'm gonna go remove it. So that's removed. Okay, so put the new drill bit on. Okay. The, uh, the problem is, is that there's our existing hole. So I took the existing uh, thing here and I'm gonna use it as a reference so I know where the center is. This is what's taken out last time I drilled the hole. So hopefully this will work. So the hole's now drilled. So I'm gonna put this thing in there and this hopefully it'll fit perfectly. Perfect. All right, that's, so that's pretty cool. So the next thing I wanna do is I wanna check to see if the USB-C ports on there can actually charge my MacBook Pro. So let me clean up a little bit and I'll be right back. All right, I'm here with my MacBook Pro and a MacBook Pro usually comes with a charging block that's about 96 watts. And But you don't need 96 watts to charge a MacBook Pro, but you can use around 15 watts to do so. So if this pop-up socket with the USB-C charger can provide at least 15 watts, then we're golden. So let's give it a try. So how am I supposed to do that? And this is where I got this little cool thing here. This is a USB-C to USB-C cable that comes with a little display on one end of the USB-C cable that shows you the output wattage. So let's plug this sucker up and see what we get. So let's see here. Um, this end is to the USB-C port and we'll plug this in into the MacBook Pro. Fifteen watts. Oh, eighteen watts. So look at that. We can charge at eighteen watts. And on the MacBook Pro itself, we are seeing a little charging icon there, right here. So it's showing that it's charging. So that's pretty cool. So the next thing I wanna do is, since there's a USB-C and a USB-A port on that charger, I wanna see if I can also charge my iPad. So if I plug in my iPad, Will it still charge my MacBook Pro? So let's give it a try. Okay, I got a USB-C to USB-A cable. I'll plug it in. This one doesn't have a display. So we'll see. All 
all right, is plugged in. And the iPad shows that it is charging. However, it shows only seven watts here on the MacBook Pro. And the icon now changed from a lightning, basically meaning charging, to a plug. So what this tells me is that these two ports are shared. So the maximum power output is around 18 watts. So I unplug the uh, USB-A here and immediately it jumps to back to 18 as well. This is not bad. This means that it with just with one thing's plugged in, I can charge my MacBook Pro. In fact, I've been running it for a while and it's brought it up from about 40% to about 86% already. So that's pretty good. And also in addition to that, the 18 watts is actually plenty enough to charge fast rate for the iPhones, the iPads. In fact, my iPad 11 Pro comes by default with this little charger that is also 18 watts. So, and, and the iPhone 11 comes with only a three watt charger. So that means the 18 watts is plenty, plenty, plenty for what we need most cases. So with that said, I think this is a pretty cool pop-up socket charger. So if you have any questions about it, please leave it in the comment below. And if you like this video, if you like the similar content, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you next time. Bye!